Coming off a tough loss, it's never easy to get back to work. But that's exactly what the Rebels are faced with. Uh, just more, you, you know, you watch the film and we had our guys since it's Labor Day today, no school, had them come over for a little bit today and um, watch film on their own. And more, you know, you just see that um, uh, it's a, well, such a fine line and uh, we, we beat ourselves in so many ways and had so many chances to win a game. We've got to learn from it, uh, starting with, of course, taking care of the ball. And then um, it's just about also some, some younger guys having to step up for us. And, um, but everybody can do better. Everybody can block better. We can, we can uh, run routes better. We can catch better. We can do all the little things better. And I really feel like we'd be a good team. Uh, de defensively, overall, played very well. But uh, I know we still can get better uh, some of those areas as well. But uh, new week, there's nothing we can do about that one. Uh, as much as that one hurts, as much as we felt like uh, well, you gift drafted a few things to help a good team win, it's time to move on. you got to learn from it. So I'm anxious to get back on the field tomorrow. We had a good one yesterday. Anxious to get back on the field tomorrow and get going on uh, Southern Illinois. It didn't take long. All you got to do is watch the film. And this is a scary bunch. This, this is a good, good football team. Uh, they won nine games last year, a lot of them back. So uh, they got a couple of transfers in, I think, University of Iowa and a couple other schools. Tailbacks very, very fast. Receiver very fast. The quarterback's very good. Their defense will blitz all night. Stunt and blitz all night, and they're very quick. So we got a real challenge. We got a real challenge this week. Uh, we don't have time to feel sorry for ourselves. Um, everybody's thinking should have been one and zero. Our players felt that way. Coaches felt that way. But the truth and the fact is that you cannot do anything about that right now. But get ready for Southern Illinois, and you got to be 100% focused. Um, this week has been real tough, you know, both of our seniors running backs went down or whatever. So, I mean, that's young guys, me, Devin Thomas. We all know we got big shoes to fill, so we've just been working hard. And uh, we're pretty confident um, with the game plan going in to this Saturday. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm pretty prepared for this uh, this new role that is asking me because of BB and Enrique being hurt. But uh, I, I heard that Enrique and BB are both going to get better. So we're just, me and Jeff and all the running backs just trying to fill that void and basically just come out with a win at the end of the, at the, end of the day. The season. Old Miss football is brought to you in part by FedEx. We understand you need a winning game plan. FedEx, proud sponsor of Old Miss football. By the Mississippi Department of Transportation making Mississippi proud by Regions Bank, where you get more financial control. Proud sponsor of the Rebels and official bank of the SEC. And by TEC, providing you broadband voice and data solutions. Visit TEC.com to find out more. You know, if we held that FedEx office printer presentation, they could have shipped it too. Save ourselves a hassle. I'm not too sure about this. this. Right. Never kick off with sales figures. Kicking off with sales figures. I'm yawning. I'm yawning some more. And. I see your point. Yeah. We understand. You need a partner who delivers convenience. Next time, use FedEx office. If you're considering a loan to help you take more financial control, Regents has options for you. Our experts will help you with advice and guidance to find not just a loan, but the right loan. And we'll do it on your timeline. Most decisions only take 30 minutes. It takes effort to achieve financial control. But our bankers are here to help you gain the stability you want with the award-winning service you expect. Ready? Come see us. Now that's control. Please hold. Transferring call. To where, Kuala Lumpur? Goodbye. Can I help you? I'm having a problem with my streaming video conference. Screaming. S streaming. Transferring audio. Video. <laughs> screaming. <sighs> Hello. You're having audio problems? A actually, my video stalls. And oh, then yes. Reinstall. Transferring to software. Re reinstall? No. Wait. Ah! Oh, my gosh. Sounds like you have a bad it's line. Not... Transferring to hardware. No. Good job, girls. Enjoy your break. Come on, let's go, let's go.
You never know where your litter may end up. Pick it up, Mississippi. You're right. And we look down there on the field. It looks like Brandon Bolden, their fine tailback down on the field here early in this game. That was, it was tough. I mean, it was the first game. Uh, it was my senior year, and it was like uh, we had talked before, before the game, like talked the whole offense and defense, and it was kind of like what we was committed to doing and what everybody really wanted to do. And as the team goes, everybody wanted to win. And in my head, it was like I'm going to do whatever it takes for us to get this win. I mean, all I remember is going into a pile, and I just felt something grab my ankle, and it just popped. And uh, I really thought it was over with from then. Uh, Cause it just, I just felt my ankle just get real big, and the doc said, "Can you move it up and down?" And I was like, "I can't move. I'm trying to move, and it's not moving." He was like, "Just, just, just relax. Stop, stop pushing it, and just tap your foot." Finally, was able to move it. He's like, "See if you can stand." I stood up, walked all the way to the training room, took took the X-ray, and it was um, it's like uh, I said, "What's that? That line?" Going up my bone. So like, oh, we don't know. So they got to poking my ankle a little bit, turned it a certain way. And it was like, oh, that's a that's a fracture. And in my mind, I was like, oh, it's just a fracture. You just take me up and we go back out there. And I jumped off the table. That was a bad idea. I shouldn't have jumped. I jumped off the table and folded like a lawn chair and just, <laughs> just go get in the shower, because that's that's it. And that's like the worst the worst feeling ever. It's like everything, as a team, everything that we worked for, everything I tried to help work for, it just felt like that was it. But, you know, with the family I got, the team that I'm a part of, the coaches, I mean, everybody being a big help, big support, I mean, um, I'm grateful, very thankful for what everybody's been doing, all the prayers, everybody on Twitter. I mean, been getting all type of text messages from people who's not even in my family. It's just how you get my numbers. Like, oh, your mom gave it to me. You know, just wanted you to know we're praying for you. When um, I saw him go down or whatever, I mean, I knew it was pretty big or whatever, because, I mean, Brandon, he, he's a big, physical, tough back. And, I mean, when I saw him down there, I was like, I, I know this is, like, this is serious. Whatever, and I mean, once they took him in, I was like, he must have, he must have broken something, and I was like, wow. So I was like, I wonder who they gonna make the go-to guy. Whatever, I know it's gonna be out of either Mia or Enrique Davis, and I mean, I knew, I just knew. I started talking to the backs. I was like, we're gonna have to step up, pick up the slack for Brandon or whatever. And I mean, I knew we was gonna end up finishing that game without him. With Brandon, it was uh, I was hurting because basically. He basically got hurt his senior year in college, like I got hurt my senior year in high school. So it was just like, dang, it's, that was rough. But the thing, I just was like, man, I hope he's, I hope he's okay. I hope he can come back. I hope it's not too serious of an injury to where he can't play again. I look up to Brandon or whatever. I mean, I'm always hanging around Brandon. I'm always going to his house. Actually, sometimes, now that I don't move out the dorm, like he comes to my house sometimes. We'll just be relaxing. I mean, watching games, playing video games, just relaxing. Basically following Brandon's lead, because Brandon's always been a hard worker on the team, and basically like, I remember him talking to me one time, and he said uh, it could be worse, and he was, it always can be. So I took that, took that in a sense, and just every time I'm out there, I just do what I got to do to help my teammates and stuff. It's like it, it takes a lot, even for the coaches to consider you as a leader. It takes a lot. They have to put a lot of trust in you. And uh, the team has to trust you in order to be a leader. I mean, because you're not going to trust anybody. I mean, follow anybody you can't trust. I mean, that's the blind leading the blind. It's not going to work. So, I mean, I mean, I figure it's a great honor to even be considered with names like Marcus Temple, uh, Bradley Sow, Derek Herman, Kentra Lockett. I mean, that's a lot of big names, a lot of guys who've done a lot for the school. I mean, just go here, just go to work every day. The, the road to getting here started, uh, I was in class, uh, Coach Porter at LSU, the running back coach at LSU at the time, called my mom. My mom called me, got me out of class to go talk to him. We're going to sign you as a safety red shirter, and then your red shirt freshman year, we'll move you back to running back. And I looked at my mom, and she just shook her head, and I said, well, Coach, you could keep that scholarship, because uh, that's not going to happen. 
And so it, it came down to Ole Miss in Alabama. And I was sitting at home, at my, I was at my cousin's house actually, watching the Ole Miss Alabama game. And I told my mom, I said, whoever wins this game, that's where I'm going. And uh, Shea Hires ran a go route, and a guy from Alabama nudged him out of bounds. Shea came back in, caught the ball. They rooted an incomplete pass. And the rule is, if you force somebody out of bounds, they could come back in bounds and catch the ball. But they rooted an incomplete pass. Ole Miss ended up losing that game. And my mom cut the TV off, and she said, oh, where you going? She said, um, probably going to go to Ole Miss. She said, but they lost. She said, well, they should have won that game, so I'm probably going to go to Ole Miss. And uh, here I am. Uh, Jeff, what you got in your hand? <laughs> <laughs> that's Coach Nick's cookies right there. That's Coach Nick's wife's cookies. Oh, Coach Nick's, that's your wife's cookies right there. I hope you see that. Focus now shifts to Southern Illinois. With a loss of two key running backs, the Rebels will have to rely on younger players to tow the load. Yeah, you know, can't help him, you know, in the game. So, you know, I thought I'd at least help him warm up. It's the little things that count. You know, I had to give my man a break. He's been doing this, you know, all camp. Did a great job. He just needed a break, you know. Let him shag balls for a little bit. <laughs> Guys, we can have a good football team. I'm excited. Here's, how, here's what I want you to do, though. Every single day, let's get better. Because you either going to get better or you get worse. Let's get better now. Let's prepare to have a real good feeling come Saturday night and get our feeling back. Defense, don't rest on it, man. As good as you played, we can do better. We're going to get you some points. We're going to get y'all some points, I promise you that. Keep doing it, man. I love your spirit and I love your heart. We got a chance to have a good team. When the whistle blows, we're gone now. We got to go to work. Keep it up. Hey, right here. Go, go, go. Right here. Settle down. Disappear, tackle. Cheers out. I want you to pop your eyes back there. One, two, three, one, two, three, and go get it. Hey, get your eyes inside. He's inside. With the Southern Illinois game only days away, the Rebels are only focused on one thing, leaving with a victory. Please hold. Transferring call. To where, Kuala Lumpur? G'day, can I help you? I'm having a problem with my streaming video conference. Screaming. S streaming. Transferring audio. It's video. <laughs> screaming. <sighs> Hello, you're having audio problems? I actually, my video stalls and oh, then... Oh yes, reinstall. Transferring to software. Re reinstall? No, wait. Ah! Oh my gosh, sounds like you have a bad it's line. Not... Transferring to hardware. No. Hey guys, I know I've been bad at this in the past, so I've come up with some mnemonic devices to help me learn your names. Hello, a penny saved is a penny earned. Oh, that's because FedEx Ground helps you save money. That's right, Penny. Do you know ours? Heavens to Betsy, oh. uh, Dwayne the Bathtub, Magic Wanda. Hey, yeah. <laughs> and what's mine? Uh, you're a Dan fool. Oh. It's just a device, Dan. You can't take it personally. Oh, that's cool. We understand. You need a partner who helps you save. FedEx Ground.
On a day America remembered the tragedy of 9-11, the Ole Miss Rebels faced the Salukis of Southern Illinois. The culmination of the week's practice have the players ready and focused on the task at hand. Everyone has their part to play, and the Rebels are ready for the battle on the gridiron. Hey, first five minutes! First five minutes now, let's go! Captain, let's Captain. set the tempo! Captain, let's go, baby, let's go! First five minutes, whether it be kickoff or kickoff return, you set the tempo! Let's go, man! Let's go! Offense all day long, stay on the field now. Everybody worry about your guy. Get your block. We got some backs that will hit it. Take care of the football. Receivers, look it in. Take care of the ball. Defense, chase that rock now. Let's chase it now all night long. I want the first five minutes though at another level. Here's the kick as Adams approaches it, kicks it away. It will be returnable. Scott runs up and takes it at the 14-yard line. Zach Stout and Jeff Scott both started for the first time. And in the opening series, both showed why. It's a draw play to Scott. Scott breaks a couple of tackles, sidesteps a man, he comes to the near sideline to the 30, 25, gets around another guy at the 20, 15, 10, 5, he's in the end zone, touchdown, Ole Miss. On the Saluki's second play from scrimmage, Wayne Dorsey makes his presence There's known. Snap and a little screen, tapped up in the air, Dorsey's got the interception, batted it to himself, he's headed to pay dirt, to the 10, to the 5, knocked off his feet at the 4-yard line, he couldn't get around. Brother, the running back, but how about Wayne Dorsey? Yeah, you know, the tackle tried to cut me, tried to get off the cut block, and the screen was coming this way. I seen it in front of me. I seen the back step up in front of me and tried to just get my hand on it, and luckily I did. And they got up in the lights, and I'm looking in the lights and just seeing like everything slowed down. I caught it and tried to get to the get to the end zone. Should have scored, man. A guy, guy like he came out the stands to get me, man. I, I didn't see him at all, um, and I just seen the guys running beside me. And I should have scored close, but I didn't get that. The next play, a four-yard touchdown scamper by Jeff Scott. I told him before the game, just go in there and play your game. Jeff looked at me and said, I got you. I said, all right, you go out there. I mean, his first carry, he for a touchdown. Then, what it was, his next carry got a touchdown. And they punted to him, he ran for a touchdown. It was every time he did it, he came back with a big smile on his face. And I said, I told you. And uh, I mean, I've never been more proud of Jeff. No uh, penalty call there. Scott grabs it, comes to the near sideline. 40, 45, 50, still on his feet. Got a block to the 40, to the 30. He could go to the 35, to the 20, 15, 10. Tight rope of the sidelines. Did he get in there? Yes! Touchdown, Oh Miss. Jeff Scott putting on a show, takes that one to the house. I mean, I really didn't expect to have a, um, have a game like that. I mean, to run back a punt return and um, three touchdowns in about six minutes. I really didn't expect it at all. They rolled to your side. The defense was stingy. Stout was hitting his targets in the opening drive of the second quarter. As the Rebels marched down the field, the drive concluded with a touchdown pass 
to Jamal Mosley. Play action, bootleg right, Stout throws it in the end zone. He's got Mosley tight in, touchdown Ole Miss. The Salukis responded with an 80-yard drive, eating up almost nine minutes of the second quarter, ending with a short touchdown run. At the half, Ole Miss leads 28-10. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. Just got to keep the pressure on. There go, D. For Southern Illinois, the first two possessions of the second half both resulted in the same thing. Interceptions. First, Charles Sawyer. Then, Marcus Temple. Play action, sets up the throw, and throws it high, and it's picked off at the 28 by Marcus Temple. Let's play back. The ball will be spotted at the 13-yard line. First down. Oh, way to respond. Yes. After the interception, Randall Mackey saw his first action at quarterback. Mackey, the junior from Bastrop, Louisiana, East Mississippi Community College. First chance for him. He's in there now with trips to the right. There's the snap. He's going to fake it, keep and run left to the 10 and down to the six yard line. Good first play for Randall Mackey. Here's a handoff sweeping right as Scott. He's in the end zone untouched. That was easy enough. Touchdown Ole Miss. With the Rebels' next drive stalling, the third quarter came to an end with a four-minute scoring drive by Southern Illinois. Thirty-five, seventeen, going into the final quarter. The Salukis' first drive of the fourth quarter ended like three others in this game. Interception. Damian Jackson grabs this one. On the carry. Late in the final frame, Devin Thomas scores the final touchdown of the day. The drive summary. Devin plays. Final score. Ole Miss 42. Southern Illinois 24. Everybody wants more financial control, but it's not always easy. At Regions, we have the tools and expertise to really help you find your balance. Like the freedom to access and monitor your accounts anytime, anywhere with online and mobile banking. Real guidance and solutions from a Regions personal savings and debt review. Plus, at Regions, you'll get the award-winning service people are talking about. It's financial control. Well, like you haven't had before. Wow. Unbelievable. Good job, girls. Enjoy your break. Come on, let's go, let's go. You never know where your litter may end up. Pick it up, Mississippi.
nobody take off any tape, nobody do anything, just listen real close, this is important. <laughs> that was a really good win, guys. Wins are precious. Is that the best we can do, though? Uh, I know that. We're going to build off that now. We're going to start learning how to win and preparing to win everything we do now in a winning way. Had some guys down, had some guys step up, and I really appreciate that. We're going to need more and more guys now as we go on the SEC. They want to take the 70 on this trip. Everybody's got to have a real distinct role now. And there's only way you can do it is go to work now. We're in real ball now. We're in the real ball. And let me tell you, it's hard now. When you take two of your starting backs and you put them on the bench, and you ask Jeff Scott to carry the load, you ask Devin Thomas, Corbett Neat, we needed him. Get ready. We're going to need you. We're going to need Philander Moore. Tobias stepped up for us on kickoff return. We're going to need more and more people now to step up. It's SEC, baby. It's SEC time. Y'all feel good? Yeah, I want you to feel good now. That's a, that's a win, any way you look at it. Feel good about a win now, because we, we felt bad last week. So let's feel good. But we're going to get better. We're going to get better. Hey, O-line, you moved the pile back when we had to have a, a first down. That's what we got to have, man. We got to go. We got to freaking dominate it, man. Let's don't, let's don't put our defense out there like that. I got a question. I've been waiting, I've been waiting about six months. <laughs>